Hello everyone. In this video, I'm trying to show you um, kind of what the electric field around these coils look like. And yeah, try to visualize um, where the potential difference is the highest and the lowest in these coils or in the entire setup. Um, for these, I have some tools. One is a compass and some neon barbs. So let's get started. I will power it up. We are around 15 volts, 0.87 amps. So yeah, around 12 watts power. And first let's try the compass. You can see the upper side south pole so this is not a regular compass where you view from above so you have to as a north is in this direction you have to look from this side at the compass that it works so basically where it points this is your pole so this is south pole and if we go beneath it it will turn. Let me get it in focus. It will turn to north side. And if we go above, it will turn to south again. So, this is just to get an idea where the north and south pole of this field is. And that is, yeah, you can play around and get a feeling of how the geometry look could look like. Um, another trick is I take a new dimmium magnet. It works better with a bigger one like this and you can just hover around it a bit and it's not a strong feel you won't get any strong pushback but you can slightly feel it especially if you go over here and turn it a bit yes. you can slightly, slightly feel it um, the same also works with quartz crystals yes they they kind of react to magnetic fields or electric fields you also feel a slight slight pushback and now to just visualize the potential difference we have these neon bulbs and it's really a really nice trick to see it if you go in here up here not really much happens if if we go down it lights up so only at the at the lowest coil get it to light up if you see i take the other one you can see it better. You can see it right on the coil, it lights up a bit. If we go far further outside, it stops lighting up. Why is that? Because the outer rim of the upper coil is connected to the ground. We have the least potential here. And then it goes up as it goes inside. And of course, in the uh, bottom coil, that is connected, or that is our highest potential, or well, let's say our plus up here that comes from the bottom coil. The potential on the bottom coil is of course the highest. That's why it's lighting up on the on the bottom coil the most. You can see it here. If we go to the in middle, nothing. If we go here, nothing. Here's the potential the highest. You can yeah. You can imagine it if it gets supercharged, it comes here, potential ground is nothing, and the further you go through the coils, the higher the potential gets. And you can visualize it pretty easy here. You can also see around the wires with high potential. Where it goes to a plus, it also lights up. 
pretty neat tool to yeah kind of visualize where high potentials are and how the field could look like yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching goodbye